Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So today we are going to be ordering decimals. Okay, from least to greatest or greatest to least. I highly suggest having equivalent decimals down and comparing decimals down before starting, starting ordering decimals. So if you're not too confident or need a refresher with equivalent decimals or comparing decimals, I dropped the link to those videos and mastery checks in the description. And then once you have that down, you can come back to ordering decimals, okay? So let's hop into number one here. And this is always read the directions first if they want greatest to least or if the question says least to greatest. So we have least to greatest over here. And I do a couple of things before I order these to make sure I have the correct answer. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is line up your decimals. And lining up the decimals will line up our given places for us. Like the ones places all lined up, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. Now you're probably saying they don't line up very well because some of the numbers go to the tenths, some go to the hundredths, and some go to the thousandths. So you probably remember, or hopefully remember, equivalent decimals, you can add zeros to the right of a decimal and it does not change the value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check which decimal goes the furthest down the place value chart and it's that fourth one down and it goes to the thousandths. So I'm gonna put placeholder zeros on all of my decimals so they all go to the thousandths now it's a little more lined up, it looks a little, a little cleaner, and it's going to be easier to compare. This is especially important when you first start out to make sure you have these right. So once you line them up, you look left to right, starting with your greatest place value. So what do you think our greatest place value in all four of these numbers are? Hopefully, hopefully you are thinking the ones place. Start left and go right. Now, can we compare the ones place? No, they're all ones, they're all the same. All the same in the ones place. So we're gonna go to the tenths place. And we have a zero, a three, a nine, and a zero. So the lowest numbers in value we have in the tenths place are those zeros. So it's either gonna be the top or the bottom one that's the least in value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to hop to the hundredths place for those two to see if we can find a difference. We have a three and we have a two. So we all know that a two is less than a three. So this last number, the bottom one, is the least in value. So it would come first in your list. So put your decimal, put a little bit of a space, then a comma, and then we'll put our next um, decimal. So cross it out once you have it done, and we have three remaining. So we start our process over, we look at the ones place. Again, they're all ones, so you don't really need to start there. So look at the tenths, we have zero, three, and nine. Well, it's gonna be the one with the zero. So one and three hundredths. You might be asking yourself, why did I put 1.03 when the number up here is 1.030? Remember, I put placeholder zeros. I'm just taking that off and putting the original number back in my list. That's fine. So a comma, cross it off. All right, let's see which one comes next. We have one, so can't compare. Let's look at the tenths. We have a three and we have a nine. So obviously that three is less than the nine. So one and three tenths would come next. Cross it off. And then our greatest would be one and 92 hundredths. So there's our list, least to greatest. Line them up, go left to right. So let's do number two. This one's greatest to least. Line them up. Put our placeholder zeros. 
and we're ready to compare. Now I'll give you a different way of thinking about these. When you make them all go to the hundredths, we have 45 hundredths, 90 hundredths, 19 hundredths, and 50 hundredths. So all of those go to the hundredths, so you can just think, okay, which one's the greatest hundredths? And that's what would come first. And you think 90 hundredths, 90 out of 100, is the greatest out of those lists. That would come first. Or just go left to right, so they all have zero holes. So we can't compare the whole numbers or the ones place. So let's look at the tenths. A four, a nine, a one, and a five. So we want the greatest first, and it's this nine. So nine tenths would be our greatest decimal. Cross it off. Next, a four, one, and a five. So this five would come next, right? The next greatest. Then we have a four, and a 1. So that 4 would be next. 45 hundredths. Done. And then our last one would be 19 hundredths, our least in value. So that pretty much sums it up for ordering decimals. You line up your decimals, compare left to right, and see if you're doing least to greatest or greatest to least, and put them in that order. Okay, so hopefully you're ready to try some on your own or maybe with a little guidance depending on how you want to do it. So go ahead and um, click on the mastery check link in the description and I'll see you over at the mastery check to see if you have ordering decimals down. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.